water all over your shirt or, you know, at least confetti. Uh, how did the team celebrate this win for you tonight? Well, Angel, I'm in a different set of clothes. My clothes, I felt like I went to the lake and jumped in uh, in the winter. They, they dumped me with nothing but ice cold water that I think they use for their foot baths. So my, my clothes are ruined. Just as far as um, the performance from your team tonight, it seemed like they were dominant throughout the entire game. That's something that they've been trying to work on. What stood out to you about how they were able to pay attention to detail throughout the stretch of the game? Yeah, well, I mean, they took on a challenge. Uh, luckily for me, they we played Chicago a couple games before, uh, a couple games ago, I'm sorry, and it, they left a nasty taste in their mouth. And they all came to me and said, we got you today, coach. Uh, we're not going to allow them to come on our court and take care of business. And that's what they did, especially defensively in that first quarter. It may have been the best defense we played all year for an entire quarter. Uh, it kind of got a little lax, I, I would say, a little bit in the second and third, and especially if we get another fourth. But... For the most part, they did what we asked and executed the game plan. This was definitely a team effort and a team win for you guys, but Colin and Darius were very impressive um, from the very beginning of the game at 55 points for the backcourt and 11 assists. Just looking at how they were able to impact the game, what stands out to you? Well, I, I think early on in the game, they made a, an important uh, decision between themselves to get their other teammates shots and make their other teammates better. And, and when they do that, uh, that allows them to get their game off. Darius really got hot in the middle of the game, making those threes, taking, you know, over that way. And Bull, he really controlled the game, especially in the first quarter of the game, in the first quarter, with just making plays for other people, throwing lobs, getting people open shots. And and we've been preaching that to him all year. And when he does that, it loosens up the defense, then he's able to get his shots off. And, I mean, I think he shot, what, 56% or something like that from the floor. Just because he took good shots, he didn't force anything tonight. And not one time where you threatened to use your challenge. So congrats on that tonight, Coach. No, no, when you're up 25 plus, you better not use a challenge. Yeah. You'll never get a job in this league, you do that. <laughs> Chris, go ahead. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Hey Buck. For for you personally, how does this feel? Uh I mean, I mean, I, I'm, I, like I said earlier, I'm really laid back, man. I love to laugh, and, you know, like I, I really believe it's just a basketball game. You're going out there to compete. I'm a competitor. I want to win every game we're a part of, but, you know, with me being the head coach for a night, I mean, it's cool and all, but, I mean, we got bigger fish to fry. Uh, coach will be back, and then we want to see if we can build on this win, see if we can get on the road. You know, for, for you, um, you've been around this team all season long, and, and they talked after the last game, um, the loss against Detroit, about not being able to back up the things that they said, talking a big game but not backing it up. For, for your guys to come out and back it up tonight, knowing how important this game was against Chicago, what does that say about maybe the maturity, the growth, anything along those lines? Yeah, I like to use the word, you know, competitiveness. They was very competitive. They didn't want them to come in and, and leave this building with a win. They was going to do whatever it took. And as you saw in that first quarter defensively, that's where it started. And uh, we, we preached this each and every day. If you started on the defensive end, the offense will come and the basket will be as wide as an ocean. And that's the way they played in that first half. And that's why we had that big lead. And, and then we didn't relax. We continued to play the right way. We talk about that, have the discipline to play the right way, unselfish on both sides of the basketball, and they put a complete game together tonight. And you mentioned Colin Sexton. Um, when he's playing the way that he did tonight, Buck, can you just explain the importance of that to your guys' success? Yeah, I mean, we are, obviously we all know that, you know, Colin and Darius are a big part of our, uh, our, our future and our present right now. We know that, you know, just like every team in the league, your better players got to play great in order for you to win games in this league because normally somebody else has a couple good players on the other side of the basketball as well. So you got to try to play outplay those uh, players on the other side. And tonight they put it together um, against Chicago. Now we got to figure out how we can do it again against Charlotte. Kelsey, go ahead. Kelsey Russo, The Athletic. Hey, Buck. Um, hey. You kind of touched on it a little bit, but in Darius becoming the fastest player in Cavs history to reach 200 made threes, um, just this season, what have you seen in his growth from um, in his three-point shot and just the confidence to take that and and also just the continual growth in making them? Yeah, if you would ask me that before the game, that if did I know he was close to making 200 threes, I never would have 
thought it was because we always preach him over and over, shoot more threes, shoot more threes. And for him to get to that point and, and not really look for the three as much as we would like for him to get is very impressive. Uh, the sky's the limit with Darius. Darius can shoot the ball, you know, off the bounce, catch and shoot. You know, he can get by guys, you know. So he's, a you know, a very complete offensive uh, player. Uh, so I'm shocked by it, but it's very impressive. And then I know it's just one game, um, and obviously coming off the losses, there was an extra energy to it. But how does this game just show you what this team, like the potential of this team when they do have the first first quarters and third quarters that you guys want to have? Yeah, that's very important. You're right. For the start of the game and the start of the half are crucial in the NBA, and not just to us, it's to everybody. And tonight they came out there and did it. So they proved they can do it both quarters. Normally we'll, we, you know, we'll do one quarter or the other, so they prove they can do both quarters, so they're in trouble now. We expect them to do it uh, both quarters, and if they can continue to do that, if they do that again and build on what we did tonight, uh, we got an excellent opportunity to try to get in that play-in tournament, and then once you get in that tournament, anything can happen.